Hi guys, GK here. It's March 4th, and as you can see, probably behind me, it's very white because it's still snowing here in Pennsylvania, and we've had lots of ice and lots of snow and lots of cancellations of a lot of things, but you know, tonight I'm going to my meeting. I mean, uh, I, I could sit back and I could use the weather uh, to trigger my mind for me to procrastinate on my goals this year and my dreams because as humans, sometimes we look for a reason to not do something. Uh, so I could say, you know what, let me just wait till it's warm out and I'll start my future then. But no, you know what, people that are achievers that have success will not do that. They'll find ways to be successful and they'll battle through whatever happens, whether it's mother nature or not. They'll do their best they can um, until the point where they maybe cannot get to a meeting or cannot get on a webinar, cannot get on a conference call uh, because you know the circumstances are that great. But the circumstances are not that great. It's just being careful on the road. So just want to let you know that, you know, we you could put things off till tomorrow, but why put things off till tomorrow? You're just prolonging your success. And guys, what I also want to talk about is, you know, my success. Um, I was doing some research and I realized uh, from what I read that a lot of successful people who have had great success have had uh, defining moments in their life where something happened to them where they felt like they had to prove people wrong or they had a, a situation where they had constructive angry, angrynism, you can call it, or being angry constructively. So what that means is, uh, to give you an example uh, from the success CD, uh, Anthony Hopkins was a young man who had some brilliant cousins and he always felt excluded from his family, from society. He felt like he wasn't smart enough. And then one day he found a school uh, for acting for adolescents and he realized that he was pretty good at it. And he realized that he was going to become the best he could be at that and become a brilliant actor. And he did. Uh, Richard Branson was somebody who was, had dyslexia and was basically, uh, you know, in school told that, Hey, listen, you're, you're either going to end up in jail or you're going to end up a millionaire. That's what his teacher told him before he quit high school at 16 years old. He ended up becoming a billionaire. Donald Trump had daddy issues. He had a lot of anger and guess what? He, he had a lot of success and, uh, oh, Steve Jobs was adopted, was a skinny little kid. People picked on him. He always felt like he didn't belong. He was, he was a very, you know, angry person at a lot of things and he became a success because of it. Guys, I had a lot of stuff like that happen to me. I had a, I had a stepdad who told me I was going to be a loser. I was never going to amount to anything. And I had a lot of things happen to me and I always had a lot of anger as a kid and I, I used that anger to become successful in bodybuilding, become successful in school, become successful in stream. But, you know, at some point though, uh, and it's, it's a, it's not a bad thing. I mean, to use that, uh, anger for something positive, but at some point it evolves. My, my, my reason for now having success is no longer anger. Now it's to help other people. I personally developed, I self-developed. I realized that, you know, I had to improve myself, but the initial spark that sparked my success was feelings of whether insecurity, uh, not fitting in, having to prove myself, um, you know, and those types of feelings that a lot of us have growing up. And instead of, you know, doing bad things with those feelings, you can do some really great things with those feelings and have a lot of success. So just want you guys to understand out there that, you know, you could always use negativity to, 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 to make it something positive. If you just hone in on it, you hone in on it and you use it for the best you can use it. Guys, we're coming into, uh, you know, the beginning of March here. I'm excited. We have two big months left before, before we get to ignition. Uh, ignition's huge. If you're not going to ignition, you're not serious about your business. I'm just going to tell it like it is. You might not want to hear that guys. Ignition is an event that has been proven for uh, several years. Okay. It's been, it's been things that have been studied on thousands of people and thousands of hours of training that has been put together. You can learn more in three days in ignition than you could probably learn three years doing this business. Those three days in Texas could have a profound impact on your business. To give you an example, uh, there's a guy who was a dentist who flew to Hong Kong for two days to learn how to straighten out people's jaws on this really new and up, up, you know, up to date method that not many people knew. It was only somebody in Hong Kong knew it. And he was able to come back to America and, and straighten people's jaws for a low cost, very effective. Uh, people started hearing about this procedure and people were flying from all over the world to come see him. Within eight years, he retired a multimillionaire in eight years from what he learned in two days at a convention in Hong Kong. Uh, and he, you know, he flew out there, he paid the money and he, you know, he put himself out there and he was able to retire guys. So just think about that. What three days can do for you in Texas. It's also an incubation of personal development. It's also the fact that you get away from your normal nine to five life here, wherever you live. And you can get away kind of into your fantasy world of an incubation of self-development with thousands of people who have the same goals and dreams and beliefs as you do. It's definitely worth it. And the promotions in the company are so great that when you come back, you can earn all the money that you spent to get out there. Plus it's a tax break. Okay. If you're worried about you know, the money, come back and get to work, come back and use all the tools you have and, and make yourself, uh, you know, gain that money back. Okay. So 
have a great day. And uh, I just want to touch base with you guys. It's been a couple of weeks since I made a video and uh, I'm, I'm busy. I'm, I'm making things happen, guys. And, uh, you know, there's no guarantee and you got to have the courage to start. You got to have the ability to tell yourself, you know what? I'm not sure if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to start. And you, have to have, you have to have the courage to persist when it gets tough because it's the courage that's going to be uh, what gets you through this, guys. The courage to start and the courage to push through. And there's no guarantee. And that's really what makes successful people. They put themselves out there. They go the extra mile. And they don't know at the end if it's going to work or not. But they make a decision. They mentally rehearse, telling themselves it's going to be hard. I'm going to, I'm, it's going to have stumbles. It's going to be challenges. People are going to tell me no. But they make a decision that they're not going to get angry or upset. And they already rehearse themselves in their mind that no matter what happens, they're not going to quit because life is a series of problems. And no matter how much money you make, life is problem, 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 problem. And then guess what? You get a little crisis in there. So if you're listening to this right now, you're either in a crisis, just got out of a crisis or about to go into a crisis. So knowing this, be be one of the phenomenal people in the world and, and always look for a solution to the problem. When you have a problem, realize that, you know, write it down on a piece of paper. And try to try to just you know distinguish what's the solution for this problem. When you define a problem, guys, it causes creativity in your brain to help you find a solution to the problem. So rather than just saying, "Oh, I have a problem and my life sucks," no, define the problem. Realize that life's a series of problems. It's like the waves of the oceans. It's just never going to stop. And when you rehearse mentally and you prepare yourself for these things, life will be a lot easier. And uh, again, have a great day.